The sixth step in the neuroplasticity super protocol is to use what we call random intermittent reward. The brain has a reward system, kind of like a currency or a money. And the main currency or money by which our brain rewards us is a molecule called dopamine. Dopamine is often talked about as a molecule that makes us feel good, but the real effect of dopamine when it's released is to make us feel more motivated, more focused, and more alert on whatever it is that we're doing. So you can imagine why this is a very powerful chemical for inducing neuroplasticity. Now, dopamine can be released in the brain in response to a tremendous number of different things. For instance, if we're very hungry and we eat, we experience dopamine release. If we are thirsty and we have something to drink, we experience dopamine release. However, dopamine can also be released by what we call subjective understanding, meaning our belief about whether or not we are on the right track or whether or not something that we're doing is good for us. So as you embrace learning, as you lean into these bouts of learning, you're generating repetitions, you're focused, etc. Every once in a while, if you do something correctly, or even if you have an error, you should tell yourself mentally that you're doing a good job. Believe it or not, that will cause the release of a little bit of dopamine and will further reinforce the motivation for further learning. Now, of course, when we do something correctly and we're rewarded for that externally, when someone says, good job, or we get a trophy, or we get a great grade, we get some sort of external reward, dopamine is also released. But it's very powerful to be able to control the patterns of dopamine release. And the most powerful pattern of dopamine release for learning is what's called intermittent reward. Casinos understand this. They know not to reward you every time if they want to keep you playing. And in a similar way, if you want to keep learning what you're learning, you want to keep generating repetitions, you want to stay motivated, you should reward yourself subjectively, but you should do that intermittently and somewhat randomly. Just every once in a while, you feel like you want to reward yourself, don't. And then maybe on the next trial, if you do it correctly or you don't, maybe then you reward yourself. So keep it random. And in doing that, the neural circuits for reward and the neural circuits for focus and the rest of the features that are important for learning will just naturally unfold.